Hello there, Internet's version 2 here with Let's Play Metroid Prime. When we last left off, we discovered that the world had been split in twain. We spoke to an NPC, which was fucking weird. And we've learned that we have to go collect, like, all of the light balls from all the different places or something. Um, from the dark balls. So, we're heading to the Aegon Waste to go and get the first one of those. So, let us head onwards. Um... Was it the elevator? Or was it this way? I'm now already not sure of where I'm going. Because I'm just that good! Aw, oh, yeah. Um, no, I was here! Because this goes to the Aegon Wastes, I believe. I believe it was this. Let, let me check the map. Well, that leads to that, which looks like an end of an air area section. So I'm gonna hope that, that this is where we're going. Let me just scan you. Did you say anything about it? No, you're just a person. You're just a dead person. I'm gonna hope this goes to egg on waste. I'm pretty sure it was this. Ooh, we get a little glimpse of outside. We can see some of the storm down there, I think. Well, there's clouds down there. I think that's... There's a lot of storm going on on this planet in general. Oh, hey buddies. You're even in these little tunnels. But they ain't causing trouble, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna trouble them. Oh, let's move my computer very so slightly out of the way. Uh, move the camera in all sorts of weird directions, and now we're through. Well, that's cool. Free missile expansion. I'll take it. I desperately need to move my computer even more out of the way. There we go. There we go. Keep objects out of the way when you're swaggling around the Wiimote <laughs> like an absolute fucking crazy person. Probably not jumping off there. Probably doing this instead. <laughs> Do you just die if you jump off like that? Elevator system online. Access to Aegon Waste granted. Step into the hologram to activate. Alright, to Aegon Waste we go. Oh. Sides lift up. I guess that was the locks. Oh, see, now we're in like a super advanced tunnel, I guess. Whoa, still giant rockets. Sup. Hi, Aegon Wastes. Hi, whatever this may be. Aegon Bearapod. Living storage units of the Luminoth. Hardy desert pla um, plane form used to store useful items. Tough epidermis can be destroyed with weapons. The Aegon Bearapod is a handy desert um, plane form used by the Luminoth to store useful items and supplies. Epidermis can be destroyed with weapons. If it gathers trace amounts of nitro, um. Sorry, it gathers trace amounts of moisture from the air and stores it in a number of chambers throughout its body. It can often process this moisture for um, for weeks if necessary. Why use living things as creatures to hold stuff? Why use living things to hold stuff? I mean, there are plants, but still, that just doesn't. Okay. Okay. Like it's still currently alive. Is my main thing. Okay. Lumite. Photosynthetic flying insectoid. Relatively harmless to shadows, powerful and invisible in the light. Well, that's not great. The Lumite thrives on light and can render itself invisible to most pre predators while within it. When out of the light, the creature is relatively harmless, relying on a crudely spat chunk of biomatter to defend itself. Once in the light, it can channel large amounts of solar energy into a deadly blast. Alright, well that sounds uh, a touch terrifying. Alright, okay. We've got another dead Lumen off here. Hidalgo has been dead for 1.1 Deca cycles. Body has been badly damaged by sandstorms and heat exposure. Judging by the number of blast wounds, the target was dead long before the desert got to it. Okay, they still want me dead, don't they? I have to kill these ones. Fine! I'll kill whatever. I'll kill anything. Fuck you. Yeah, get out of here. You'd think being predators that like the, um... Um, lights they'd be aiming for, but it's fine. Sand grass, indigenous strain of grass adapted to desert climate. Sand grass uh, scan indicates that the plant requires no moisture to survive. It relies exclusively on solar energy for sustenance, making it well adapted for life um, in a desert environment. Evidence of extensive mutation present, suggesting radical bioadjustment within the last center cycle. Mutation source is not natural. Plant strain was genetically engineered, possibly by the Luminoth. They're making their own grass. Interesting. Interesting that we can even scan it, considering it's not an interactable thing in any capacity. And it's like, in our logbook. I'll take it though. Welcome to the Aegon Wastes. Seemingly a desert. 
based on everything we've seen so far. And there's lightning coming down from the sky, and um... Is that a dead bug? Looks like it. It looks like a bug that is dead. Interesting. Okay, we have that over there. I hear a sound, and I don't know what it is. Well, I can't make that jump. Oh, cool! Whoa, come dashing at me. Sands Digger. Well, that's an unnerving name. Um, Tezza. No one thought of that. Nope. All right. Okay. Okay. Scans indicate that, yep, has dual brain nervous systems. Both of its heads are capable of attacking, disabling, and digesting prey. It fires globes of acidic digestive fluid at prey to cripple them and begin the digestion process. It hides its very durable and resistant. Its hide is very durable and resistant to weapons fire. Only its exposed eyes can be damaged. Hello. Ow, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, get out of here. Oh, I have to kill both heads. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Oh, now both heads are dead. Now it's actually gotten blows up into very gooey chunks, I must say. That was incredibly gooey. I don't know if it's necessary for, for it to be that gooey, but all right. We've got a lot of enemies coming up here. Somewhere. Again, speaking up a lot of shit moving around. Oh, it's these things. Just scan one of them. Sand bats. Alright. Sand bats are small flies. They travel in packs for safety. Though they are predatory in nature, failing to find prey as group, sand bats will often enter a feeding frenzy and attack one another in search of sustenance. Dicks? Jeez. Also, yeah, contact with the cause damage. So shoot him out of the sky. And they don't seem to bother me beyond that. Boom. Yup, I solved the puzzle. Hello. Hi. Ow! Damn, they, they just dash at you when they're pissed at you. Bah! Oh. Boom. The way they just explode is so gross. Like, it's very, it's chunky. It's chunky when they explode. Okay, so I can go up there to get up to that side, but there is this. This is a translator color that I don't have, right? Yup, okay. So there's multiple types of translation that I need, and I only have purple at the moment. All right. I can live with that for the time being. Oh God, I can see so much double jumping shit already. Once again, I don't have my pen and paper. Oh, do I? Uh, wait, oh, oh, let the camera just point on that. All right, is this? Yay, it's my pen and paper that I've been using. All right, okay. I'm not gonna write double jump stuff down because there's a lot of it, um, but any particular things that are just like, you can use this to blow this up, I'm gonna start writing that down. Um, I mean, the translators I don't need to because they literally appear on the map. I mean, it doesn't say what color translator, but... Uh, I have my pen and paper next to me if anything comes up that I desperately want to write down. Hmm. Oh, safe station. Nice. Yeah. Whoa. Hello. Are they still sand bats? Yeah. Wow, they do not some they did not stop flying out of that. <laughs> I would like to save. Why not? Saving is checkpoints in this game, so I'm always par paranoid about that. Heal me up. Thank you, laser beams. Yeah. So, falling to that, probably bad. Morph ball hole. See, we've got a, from a save point, going to an area, which is very interesting. Well, that's not what I meant. It's not what I wanted to happen. Whoops. Okay. Well, we're going up this way. Come on, go. Go. I believe in you. I believe in you, morph ball. You can do it. Go, 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 Morph Ball, go, yeah! Morph Ball made it. Okay, so the sand doesn't actually hurt to touch. I figured you might like sink into it and it would be bad, but it seems to be fine. Blue Root Tree! Highly poisonous plant form, okay. Durable in a lot of places. The Blue Root Tree is coming to the world uh, with desert regions. While an elegant, oh, common to multiple worlds. So it's not indigenous, so it's not, oh man, it might be indigenous here, but it's not just here. 
Um, while an elegant, attractive plant, the tree's leaves are highly toxic. Few species can ingest the leaves and live. Many of them, such as space pirates, consider the deadly blue root leaf a delicacy. Weirdos. Alright. Oh, that's, that's just the color of that. Alright. Ghost trees. Got it. Yeah, tormenting fuck. What is that? Oh, just an old missile expansion. Just looks a bit different, is all. Okay, what is this? Uh, security gate is lost by a play. Um, bomb slot device. Um, energize the slot to open it. It is on that side, and I can see it from here. That's it right there, right? Yep, that's the bomb slot over there. Okay. Well, we have to come backwards to this one at some point, and it opens up also a shortcut to the safe point. AKA, currently not useful for anything. Whee! Okay, so yeah, that's just the sand here. Okay, it's so actually being down in the sand. Actually doesn't mean anything. It's just a, it's just a little spot. It's not, I, th I thought it, lo it looks like quicksand and it might be like a thing that sucks you in, but no, it's actually totally fine. Oh, you're back? You're back for some more, eh? When the sun hits your eye like a bug in your face, that's a more That's... Did that count as a joke? So I'm gonna say it did. Oh, you can't get me. I'm up here, and you're down there. So I'm gonna kill you, though, because you spit poison at me. Oh, I eat shit and die. Get absolutely ruined. Don't even need to blow up these things, because I have everything. Uh, let me guess. Missile. Yeah! Didn't even need to scan it. Boom! Oh, you bat fox. Ah, you bat fox. <laughs> oh, no. Nope, can't make that jump either. God, I, I want double jump. I feel like there's a lot of stuff here that you could do with double jump. I wonder, I'm wondering if it's going to be a soon thing. Alright, another translator that we can't do. Um... Huh. I think that's at a launcher module. Okay. Well, alright. I feel like we're gonna get the orange translator at some stage. Maybe not now. Thank you. Thank you for dying so you weren't gonna kill me anymore. Very nice of you. Very, um, considerate. In the most fucked up way, but it's fine. Hey, now I can jump over to that. But there is also this. There's also that. There. That gross thing, and just a giant door that we can't open. Alright. Onwards! Ooh, ooh, what's that up there? Is that that... That little thing there? Is that a thing? I can't tell if it's a thing. It looks like it could be a thing, doesn't it? Although I don't think it is. Oh, the bats are just on all of these! Oh, you gotta be dicks on... Oh, okay. <laughs> there was only the one, I guess. Easy enough. Making progress, yeah. Oh, I see a little slide path off the end of this tunnel. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, I don't even have bombs at the moment. Shit. Okay, there's a thing down there. If I have bombs, I can get that. Shit, I thought I had bombs. Ah, oh, I don't have flick jump either. I guess you get flick jump once you get bombs. <laughs> otherwise, you would... Otherwise, yeah, that would break the game, actually. So, fair enough. Fair enough. Ooh. The music changed a lot when we went here. Um. Um. Interesting. Hello. What are these? Space pirates, of course. All right. Well, arms for combat. Sworn enemy of Samus Aran. The space pirates suffered a serious defeat at Talon 4. Yet they remain a powerful force of crime and disorder in the galaxy. Their technology continues to advance. Even the lowly trooper has received numerous upgrades to his arsenal. A photonic power scythe and quantum assist uh, assault cannon are now standard issue weapons for all troopers. I pissed them off, basically. After the last one, they're like, they really want me dead now. Get off the wall, you pricks. Oi, have you considered fucking off though? Yeah, single charge shot's still dispatching them. Oh, there you are. Get out of here. Arr, I'm dead. Thank you for fucking off. I think these are storage crates. 
they indeed are. Wait, they might be new storage grates. Space pirate grate. Okay, fair enough. Uh, strangely dislike theft. Uh, you yeah, hypocrites. You bastards. Oh, just covered the whole screen in sand. Yeah. <laughs> cool little detail. Okay, got a little spinning platform thing here. Oh, uh, that's a new enemy. There we go. Brizgy! Uh, venomous insectoid. Poison stinger concealed in black mounted shell. Finish it off quickly once the stinger is exposed. The Brizgy, um, Brizgy's tail ends in a venomous barb, which it conceals underneath a hard packed layer of fused sand. A series of sharpened ridges along its body discourages most predators. Those foolish enough to harass the Brizgy are quickly introduced to its deadly stinger. Cause then they get mad. <laughs> Hi, Brisky. No, you don't care. Can't make you expose your stinger, so I'm gonna leave you alone. I also have a door there that I can go through, and jumping up there. We're gonna go through the door first. So many pathways everywhere. Okay. Bomb slots. Anything else in here worth scanning? Not seemingly so. All right, in the bombs, let we go. Elevators and whoop, we okay, okay. Well, I'm in this side now. Whoa! Hi, buddy. Luminoth terminated 1.9 Deca cycles ago. Target has a number of wounds caused by small explosions, most likely delivered by a portable rocket or grenade system. to know. You gotta sneak in there without activating that. Hey, missile expansion. Simple enough. Okay. Before we go in there, was there a door here? Uh, yes, there is also a door here. Man, I'm getting sidetracked already. There was an entire other area like that I could have jumped up and we're already just wherever the hell we are now. Oh, okay, big red thing. Structural analysis complete. Industrial soul lens, part of a system used to open a portal to dark aether. Okay. Mechanical analysis complete. Portable dynamo offline. Configure lens system to focus solar power on dynamo. This will energize the system. Okay. Structural analysis complete. Object is composed of telluric alloy. Structural integrity has decayed considerably. Okay, we need telluric alloy. Which, based on that, is going to be bombs. This also feels like where we're going to get bombs, or at least nearby here. So I'm not going to write those down. But it seems like that's necessary to go to um, Dark Aether. Because it's part of the whole system. Is that a thing over there? It was. There's an entire thing here I missed. Hello. What are you? Uh, target uh, is in a state of dimensional flux, unable to completely scan bomb slot target. 50% of its component atoms are in another dimension or on the surface of Dark Aether. Okay. There's a door there where, like, half of this is in Dark Aether. Interesting. Um, this door sequence thing here. Automated door system offline. Door governed by bomb slot. Controlling seems to originate from Dark Aether, however. So things that happen in one world can affect things that happen in another world. Is what we're learning from that. There's also a thing up there. And there's something over there that I can see glowing. Oh, it's another tele it's another translator thing. Just scan that so I know I need it. So that it's marked on the map, hopefully. Uh, does it stay marked on the map? Uh, no. Okay. Although there are things that are marked P, so. Okay. Scanning this says. System analysis complete. Console is used to energize and open a portal to Dark Aether. Currently offline. Well, just to scan that again. Uh, restore power to the system to enable portal creation. Okay. So we need portals to be able to do that. I don't seem to be able to do anything from here. And this is a bomb slot, but I currently don't have bombs. So if I get bombs, I might be able to start activating all of this. But for the time being, I don't have bombs. So I can't really do jack shit. So, back the other way we go. I was worried I couldn't jump up there for a second and something was gonna happen, but it's fine. Is this where I came from? 
Yes, it is. So, I did go the wrong way first. I knew it! Oop. And there we go. And back out this side. Whoa. Like if she comes running into a sprint whenever she comes out of that step. Like out of those things. Where? Are oh, you dicks? Oi! Hey! Fuck off! Actually, I should probably do this, shouldn't I? There we are. Hopefully that was the only two of them. Not noticing any others, but I could be wrong. Whoa! Not that way. Ah, here we go. Whoa! More law more translated door stuff that I can't do. Yep. Man, this translated door stuff is a lot. Oh, there's a lot of types of it. There's a lot of types of it, and the stuff that is here is here a lot. <laughs> Go to this. Scandal that, scandal that. That green thing isn't a scanny thing. Sorry, blue thing. I know colors. Yeah. That's a cool statue. What's it of? Object analysis complete. This is a statue of the Cheer, the child hero of Aegon. Once a lowly acolyte squire. When he became a warrior when the temple was attacked. He became a warrior when the temple was attacked. All warriors but de um, Deter were slain, leaving the body the boy as sole defender of the temple. He served Aegon for nearly a center cycle before being lost in the battle on Dark Acre. Let's blow him up at some point. Structural analysis complete. Uh, Luminov de de designed alloy. Scans um, that indicate that weapons of artillery grade or higher will damage anything made from this alloy. What I have is not artillery grade, clearly. Mechanical analysis complete. Device is a component of a larger mining system and used to extract minerals from raw ore. Okay. None of that at the moment is particularly helpful. But I do have this block. Yeah. Yeah, making bridges. Give me missiles. I've used a couple. And I always want to be max. There it is. Oh, well. I had 11, that would have been 10, and that would have given me 5, and I, oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm only complete now to fuck up, so that's fine. Oh, I see you, you bastards, shriek bats, things that dive at you. <laughs> Explosive enemies, target and eliminate enemies at range if possible. Shriek bats have high internal temperatures, leading them to seek cool climates to dwell in. They prefer caverns, roosting on ceilings while hunting for small prey. Fiercely territorial, they dive bomb anything that wanders near. This attack is fatal for the Shriek Bat, as the impact sets off a discharge of thermal energy. They really don't like intruders. Sorry, I'm gonna shoot all of you. Man, even your friend's blowing up. Not enough to say you off to come running at me. I'm hitting, I'm hitting trees. Ah! They don't go spinning like they did before. Not quite, at least. Come to me. Thank you. Anything else in this room? I always feel like I'm missing stuff in this. Ah. Green one I've already scanned. Look at this fancy ornate shit. Look at it. Something important behind this. A giant's dome. Why does half of this stuff in this game, like that... The Luminoff make feel like gladiatorial arenas. <laughs> Does that is that not what this feels like? Oh, white door. I can't open that one. Oh, is that a thing? It is a thing. Structural analysis complete. Objects goes to Toloric alloy. Okay, I know three spots with Toloric alloy now. I'll have to take care of them at some point. Okay, let's try the other side. Before I jump down and do the fight here, that's going to give me the bombs. <laughs> I gotta check. I was gonna check. Yeah, I can't even get through that side. All right, running into the middle of the arena. Let's go. Is that a thing? No. I saw the orange and I thought that might've been a thing. Seriously, they look like they're designed like gladiatorial arenas too. Is this a more powerful version? It is bigger, I could tell. Alpha! That word. 
<laughs> Lot Shining by I fall. Well armored. This appears to be a sand one pack leader. Larger and stronger than the normal members of its kind. Target both of its heads to damage it. Same but bigger. So far every boss fight has been same but bigger. Oh here we go. Here we go. Get powered up by the evil. Rawr! And scan once again. Bomb Guardian. I wonder if it has bombs. Uh, bomb dropping Darkling. Enemies utilizing your multiple bomb unit. Although its armor is strong, its tail is exposed when moving. Its mouth can be hit when glowing. Ah, oi. Ah, gotcha. Oh. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh, dear God. Yeah. Damage its tail. Oh, stop throwing shit at me. Ah. I haven't even begun to hurt you yet. Urgh! Oi! Oh, come on! Let me hit your tail. Urgh! Ah! Oh, there we go. Got it. I got a hit on. Yeah, we go. Oh. Stop spinning out more bombs. Interesting that we've got enemies that are, like, using my weapons against me. We had that before, kind of, with the weapon, the troopers at the end of the first game, but... So I wonder if most of my power-ups are going to come from, like, Aether creatures in this. Like, I, I fight, like, Aether creatures and get my weapons back. Because in the first game, it was, well, I was on a Chozo home planet, so of course they had a bunch of stuff that was compatible with the Chozo suit. I picked it all up, like, it's, they're the people who made the damn suit. Where in this, it's just like, no, you're in Luminol, they didn't make the power suit. But a bunch of the dark creatures did steal them, so you know, they're gonna have it all. Oh, you spin up so often. <laughs> you just throw one right at me and just aim it directly at my face. Oh, you're a dick. Ugh. Fuck you! Yeah! Give me my power bomb, you bastard! Oh, exploding the gooey chunks. Bomb Guardian defeated! Hey! So this is how we get our power-ups. I mean, I guess a whole bunch of the ones, like, the what, the stolen ones are gonna, you gotta be acquired doing it this way. If I had to guess. Oh yeah! Get ready for bomb powers! Are they gonna be tainted by the dark parts? Cause our suit is glowing purple. Morph ball bomb, oh. Why? Yeah, I really fucked up the timing on that one, didn't I? Well, in morph uh, ball mode, press A to drop a bomb. Oh yeah, you drop the bomb. Oh mate, fucking it disappeared right as I wanted to scan it. You bastard! Taloric alloy. Well, don't worry, I can get rid of you now. Rah! I can get rid of you now. Rah! I'm gonna fall into the holes that they came out of. Never mind. Ugh. Huh. Jump around everywhere. See, now I've got the flick jump. Yay! Break the game by making it easier to jump everywhere. Wee! Haha. <laughs> so we're gonna blow up stuff here. There are the other things that I have to go back to, because we saw well more of this back there. Um, that's a door that we can go through. What about this side over here? There was a door over here. What color is this door? That is Well, that's a completely different color door. What the fuck is that? Blast shield blocking access. Blast shield is invulnerable to most weapons. Dark energy may damage it. Alright then. We've got the power of dark to blow open shit in this. Okay, if I scan the other door. I want to scan the other door. See if it tells me as well. What does this say? Blast shields. Light energy may damage it. Okay, so we've got light and dark energy options in this that we can also use to blow open doors and stuff. So we're gonna have a light beam and a dark beam and that! What on 
Earth are you? You look important. Luminoff Temple Security Station. You have been cleared for access to the station. Use the bomb slot to activate it and gain access to the Aegon Energy Controller area. Interesting. Alright, okay. It's spinning me around to somewhere. Okay. Am I the energy thing for this? Um. Oh! Okay. I mean, a whole different thing. Interesting. Ah! It's blocking me before I finish what I have to do in here. Fine. Okay. Energy controller! Okay. We've already scanned one of those, so... Nope. Not what I wanted to scan. I wanted to scan this. It is an access point for the local energy system. The energy transfer module has been de um, designed to interface with it. Once it has, all the energy within the module can be channeled into the local system. Okay. More dead Luminoff. Hi. Luminoff sub uh, terminated 1.5 deca cycles ago. Damage from multiple weapon systems detected. Subject definitely went out fighting. Oh, you badass. Look at these cool statues that got of like beetles and stuff. I like this bug like race that we've got here. Luminoff Hollow Projector online. Automated message initiated. Oh, okay. Hi. More NPCs talking. Welcome, I am Aisha, Sentinel of the Aegon Temple. This message survives my death as guidance to one who would fight the Aeng. That me! <laughs> A portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land's shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of this sacred place. Inside, you will find the energy controller you seek. It looks like this. The temple door is held fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout that dark land. Your search will be difficult. Even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous and can cripple the strongest of warriors. In our past struggles with the Ing, we placed a series of light crystals throughout their world. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that will protect you from the harmful atmosphere of the Dark World. It sounds worrying as fuck. I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coded with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. Hey. When you have taken the energy from the Dark Temple, return here at once. May the light of Aether serve you well. Energy fully replenished. Hey. What's... Hey! Secret shit. A lot of lore to find. Alright. Luminal Floor Translated. Paradise. Aether was a fertile, aged world with bountiful fields and oceans. The native creatures were gentle compared to other worlds we had encountered. We settled in a mountain, mountain region at first, in the cliffside dwellings. In time, we established settlements in the green forest of Torvus and the fertile plains of Aegon. A great temple was built between our three domains. A place of peace and a monument to our accomplishments. It was a time of harmony for our people. And I feel like I've passed a shitload of these and I do not remember where all of them are. <laughs> so that's going to be uh, fun to find all of them. Yeah, I guess I can't interact with that thing until I have all of the... um, the, Until I have all of the energy that I need to put into that that I stole from the other worlds. Alright, well before we go there... We've got a bunch of stuff that we can blow up with this and a couple things that we can translate with this as well. I mean, we probably have to do a bunch of that stuff to even get to Dark Aether anyways. So, not super out of the way, I imagine. Huh. Turny turnies. There we go. Oop, oop. Hit it. I did it. Did the cool thing. Can I walk through that side and jump up there? I can. Oh, you bastards. Can't have a simple boss fight arena without someone trying to cause some shit, eh? 
Ah, uh, this is an old warrior's ground. I did tough battle with that with the the thing that I killed. And you're gonna come in and try and ruin all of that. You know nothing of our fight, of our struggle, of our fierce determination against one another as equal warriors in battle. I blew up the shit out of it with my giant fucking gun. Like it wasn't it was not a fair fight at all in any capacity. Are these the Lumites? Yes they are. Lumites now infest this area. Cool! That's the wrong one. That's that there it is! They keep running around and being invisible. The bastards. How dare they? How dare they? So... I can't do anything with you just yet, it seems. Do the thunderstorms mean anything from a gameplay perspective? Because I'm concerned that they will. Security clearance. Through vigilance and strength, we create peace. Fucking sand. <laughs> Just making me fall off. Ah! Ah, ah! ah! Okay. Back up we go. Back up we go. Where was that? I already forgot where this led us to. Oh, that that leads us to the portal terminal. The big important thing. Got it. That's the mining plaza. Okay. There's a translator thing there. There was a translator thing in this one. Maybe I should be writing a lot more of these down. Because, uh, well, nope, no, no, I want to go explore the other thing first. Before we go to the thing that will teleport us to the other world, I want to do all the other stuff that's here first. Ah, oh, fuck off, Lumites. Bastards. They keep disappearing. Ah, you see? And then they shoot shit at you. They're pricks is what they are. Missiles! Free missiles. I feel like we've expanded our missile collection quite quickly. We're already at 20. That's pretty sweet. Get out of here! Fuck off. Oh, fuck you too. So that's the thing that we're gonna go through at some point. Um, actually, go in there for for, the, for a second. No, wait, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna say go into there because it from there it leads back to where this thing was past the safe point. But that's the door where like half of it's connected to Dark Aether, so I can't go there anyway. But in the transport center, there is a thing for me to do. Or it was in save station. It's one of these had the more full thing that I can bomb stuff with. So I also want to check out there. And I saw Taloric Alloy somewhere else. Oh, that was in the thing that I got to go to. The transport center. Boom! Hey, free energy tank. I like it. I'll take it. Yay. Oh, free goodies. Might as well be free. Ah, and that reappears, so I can pull down. Thank you. Oop. I'm in this. So, there was translator stuff in here, right? Yeah, there was that one over there. I don't remember if there was more than just that one, though. I don't remember if there was any lore ones. Yes, there was. There was this. See, I knew there was something. A new lore entry. Luminoff lore translated. Saving Aether read this. Aether's planetary energy supply reached a critical stage. If left unchecked, the energy would expire, bringing an end to the world. Our greatest minds devised a way to preserve and regulate the remaining planetary energy. The energy controllers. And then we've got this giant door. I'm not, I, was, I was just checking. Am I not in a giant thing that uh, a, be a beetle worm thing is going to want to fight me? Through all this stuff, we create peace. If you say so. Throw a tiny.